I think this uh, decision was a victory for China, and it should be seen in the perspective of China's wider ambitions. And uh, although China now has its own economic problems, uh, they are using the situation some of these countries are regarding debt and also fueling a criticism against the IMF and the lack of reform of the Bretton Woods institutions. So, so you might be right on the economics of it, but China's motivations, I think, has to be seen in a wider geopolitical context. Hey, Matt, it's good to see you today. Look, um, I'm going to be slightly cynical and sarcastic on this one. Does BRIC actually stand for Belt and Road Initiative of China, i.e., is this just an expansion of Chinese foreign policy to try and get these nations together? Well, I mean, uh, this has certainly been a negotiation where Brazil got Argentina in and India and South Africa have their own concerns and they have extracted cooperation, for example, Ramaphosa with Africa, more cooperation on economic development with Africa. But certainly China is the, the heavyweight here. I, I think an interesting question is how will the West and, for example, Europe react now when they go to the G20 summit, for example, that was referred to here. Brazil and Indonesia, for example, Indonesia chose not to join now, which is interesting. They are also looking to membership of the OECD. And if that process can be speeded up, I think uh, China's influence can also be countered in a way. Yeah, I think you're right to point to how the West reacts to this, Matt, as well. It's something I've been pontificating on quite a bit as well. In terms of if I was the Western consumers looking at a lot of these, dare I say it, production nations, a lot of them are consumers as well, but by and large producing nations as well in the South, ganging together, should I be worried that they've kind of create some form of OPEC for the South, i.e. some meaningful grouping that can control production of raw materials? Or actually, do I look back at history and say they've achieved nothing in the first 10 years? Why, why should I be worried? Well, I think... Uh... If uh, uh, if I call it the West or the present OECD countries do not respond to China's offer, there is such a risk if you look at critical raw materials, for example. But this is still to be seen. I mean, as I said, Indonesia chose not to join at this moment. Uh, they are, uh, like some Latin American countries, are very important for the supply of critical raw materials and the some kind of opec light cooperation on critical raw materials would probably include those countries. And they are not committed. They don't want only to be dependent on China. So I think the West has a great chance, also in the perspective of consumers, to reach out a hand now, for example, in, in Delhi at the G20 summit and, and say, we also have an offer and we can offer better terms in several aspects than China does.